Yeah. Hi everybody. It is hi, it is the seventh of January 2020. Sorry, I said I think the other day I did something, I said it was 2019. Well, actually I think I've still got to change it on the on the video heading, I think it says. Uh, it's come to the moment where I've got to change out some of this water in here because it's pretty yucky at the minute. So I'm just skimming off some of the water and then I'm going to see all this down the bottom of my water pot here. Whoa, that's got a, it's got a strong, a strong smell of something funky. <laughs> so yeah, every once in a while, I just need to, so I find there's more clay in there than water down the bottom, you know. I don't stir it up or anything, it's just down there, you know. So I sort of take quite a lot of it out, like so. Ugh. Add a bit of, add a bit more water. Now oh, I've got some warm water. Don't have your water too hot in the winter. Just have it comfortable, but don't have it hot, otherwise it'll open up your pores in your skin too much and you'll find that you'll get chapped hands, the, the, um, the cold will get in, you know, where the pores have been opened and it's better not to. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm just going to... Um, just wanted to make it a couple more of those uh... just join me over here on the workbench I'm just just kneading up this clay and I just stick the camera there like that give this a few turns dee 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 Yeah, we've got snow today. It's been snowing since one o'clock. It's now about four o'clock. It's about two or three inches. Two or three inches out there. Right, it's going to weigh up here. Just a couple of lumps. There'll be a pound a piece. Pound a piece. I like to weigh my clay before I start. It's not that I'm about to make a big batch of these, it's just I like just to know. I like to know what I've got, you know. Dee, 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 dee. Okay. That will do. Just for the purpose. For the purpose of this video. Put those there. Yeah, I was thinking further along the lines of what I was doing the other day um, in the clip before last and uh, we made some of these uh, type of bowls with these kind of integrated 
lugs, which I think uh, I'm, 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 I think I'm pleased with them. You know, sometimes you you think things are a good idea, and then you you think again afterwards. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, of course. So I'll just put those there. So I want to make a couple more. Let's just get the light where we need it. Bring this in a touch. Down there, something like that. Okay, that'll do. Whoa. Get the glasses on. So one of the GP bowl styles that I quite often like to do is I call it a, a small kitchen pouring bowl. Which you could which you could do in various sizes of course. It hasn't got to be a pound at all. Pulling up the clay here. Don't take it too wide, but get a bit of height. Once you've got a bit of height, just taper the top here, touch, and then you can you can roll that rim. Which is a useful a useful thing to know how to do if you roll a rim on the top. It helps keep the the pot round and it gives the top of the pot a a little bit more of a generous feel which can actually look quite nice. These have got to be six and a half. That's six at the minute. So we need to go another half inch. Still need to go a touch further. Still got to go further. All right, that'll do. That will do. Throwing stick. Down the bottom there. Most people who do these GP bowls let's say on a workshop here for example, they don't go in enough at the base there to get them narrow enough at the foot. So the idea is you see you don't want to you don't want to have to trim these in. So you want to get them done now. With the throwing stick you are able to you are able to effectively wet trim them. That's six and a half. That's good. Okay. So All 
right. Leather. Right. So there's the GP bowl, that's where I wanted to arrive at. Rolled rim. Inside is a nice uninterrupted curve, which is nice for your spoon, you know, when you're scooping. You're scooping that last little bit. So what I want to do now is just bring it in a touch. Not too much. Ooh, just about like that. I'm gonna give it a little a little blast. Effectively what we are doing by giving it some heat like that, it's as if I'm le I've left the pot for an hour or something and I've come back. So now it's suitably, it's suitably stiffened. So what I want to do in this case is I want to put a, a pouring lip on one end and then I want to put a, a, an integrated lip handle on the other. Okay, that's, that's my idea. So, a couple of fingers, make sure your fingers are dry, and you're going to hold those there like that. Then wet your index finger of your other hand, all right, and between the two fingers, start to, start to gently, gently go left and right, you see, like this. A little bit of like that as well as like that. So effectively what we've done, we've stretched the, the lip between this point and this point. Okay. The rest of the bowl remains the same. The only bit we've done is, is we've just stretched out this little piece here. Okay. So you want to make sure when you do this that the rest of the bowl here, from here all the way around to here, it remains as it were like a, a, a round. You can do what I'm doing now just to put it back to being round if you need to, like that. Okay, so there's your, that is a typical poured lip. You can use the same method for a pouring pitcher, perhaps. View from above, you'll notice you'll notice that it's basically it stayed round. It's not we've not pulled it out of shape. All we've done is stretched that lip between uh, the two the two fingers there. Okay, next, what I want to do, I'm going to take my little tool, this guy, wet him. Remember, if, you, if you're going to touch anything onto a pot, uh, like a wooden tool, like we're going to do now, you want to make sure that it's uh, wet, otherwise the clay is going to stick to it terribly. So I was just thinking about this, I'm just wondering, thinking and wondering, I'm going to try something different here, I'm going to, as if, as if I'm going to do 
a pouring lip, but I'm not actually going to do a pouring lip, so I've established the midway point here, where opposite the pouring lip, the midway point, and now I'm going to widen my fingers like that, and I'm going to... Because effectively what I'm doing is I'm going to try to stretch the clay, like the pouring lip, between my two fingers. But I'm not making a pouring lip, as you know. So what I've done is I simply... Can you see what I've done? That's what I've done. That. Now in this case, as I put my two fingers here and here, I want to make sure that my fingers are dry. All right, They're not wet. Because when I put that finger to the clay thus, and this thumb thus, I want the clay to stick to my finger. So that when I go like this, the clay is not sliding over my finger. So I'm keeping the clay here and here and around here. I'm keeping it back. All right. When I'm doing this here, I'm not pulling that clay over here. I'm just keeping it back. And these two fingers are keeping it back. But you want to make sure they are dry. The opposite of what I said a moment ago about using this. Alright, so having done that, I'm now going to wet this and wet my finger and get my spray bottle. If you ever wake up in the night, as I do sometimes, and I start trying to, I'm making pots there or by, as I'm in bed, you know, staring up at the ceiling. Um, you get ideas, don't you? Do you ever do that? You, you lie in bed and it's as, it's as if you're out there and you're being creative. Now I'm going to take this guy, put him underneath that little extended piece that I just made, and I'm going to I'm going to do this. Alright, can you see that? Let's bring the camera down for some real action, close up. Alright, so, you can see he's bent, he's pulled over this, this, this tool here, which is just, is really like a former like a, it's just taking, so it's going to take the, the form, alright, and now I'm going to remove that, to remove it I'm going to have to slide it out like that, okay, so that now, the idea of that is that that is a place that I can hold on to here. Now I'm going to put a pattern across the top here. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, right here I'm going to take one of my roller stamps, like, like we did here, in the same way there, which will give me a little place just to put my thumb to hold that as I 
lift it up to pour with it. Let's take the take the leather here and just leather him like that. I'm not going to be able to use the roller wheel because it's it's a little too soon after after doing it and it's going to be too too wet at the moment, you know, it's going to just wondering whether it should be raised a touch. Yeah, okay. Well, let's cut him off. Okay, so there it is, folks. It's just really it's really an adaption of the of this, except I've instead of having two handles, I've got one and I've got a pouring lip on the other side. Have a go at doing one of those as a yeah slight variation, slight variation on the others. If you haven't, you saw you saw how I did that, um, and you can maybe improve upon it. Everything can be improved upon. Um, you know, that's the first one of those I've ever made. So yeah, I might think to myself, well, I'd like to actually extend this out a bit further in this direction so I, it, it feels like I'm getting more I'm getting more of a you know a, 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 a purchase for your fingers a better purchase okay good um, I'm taking orders on leech treadle wheels if anybody's interested give me a shout we're having a fresh batch made. They'll be ready sometime mid-March, mid to end of March, approximately. Uh, we are also having a 10% 10, 10 off of tools, or my pottery tools, sponge sticks, throwing sticks, leathers, trim tools, all of those things. We've got a 10% off until, I think, the 15th of... Uh, the 15th of January so for two weeks anyway if that interests you go there have a look get some good tools for the upcoming making season coming up once we start to get out of winter a bit and of course there's workshops there workshop dates there on the website if you're interested in coming on a keep practicing workshop um, give us a shout, write to me and ask me about what dates you want first before sending any money. Ja March is full. February, uh, sorry, not there, April, I mean, it's <laughs> not February, it's going backwards. Yeah, March is full, April, I think we have three signed up, so we could probably take another three or so. Okay folks, thanks a lot, thanks for watching. Have a go at doing one of these. One pound of clay, six and a half inches, pouring lip, and then have a go at doing that. You might need to make yourself a, one of these, a little T-piece thingy that you can get underneath there just to support that as you roll it over. Okay, thanks a lot, keep practicing. I'll see you around town in my snowshoes. <laughs> Bye for now. Dee, 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 dee.